First off, just how'd the visit go overall? It was great. I, uh, I've never been to Florida State or Tallahassee. We uh, came came to Destin for spring break and decided to take a trip, and it was it was worth the trip. We uh, I didn't know what to expect. I've never been here, and it was real eye opening. And there, I'm really considering this now. Meeting Coach Norvell, he's a really great coach, and I think Coach Shannon and just everyone that they have on staff is pretty unbelievable and super super down to earth people and really good coaches and it shows with the players that they have and kind of what they did this past season so it's been it's been a great visit i will definitely be back what made the trip so high open um because I, I mean i've never been so i just didn't know what to expect and i didn't i've never met coach norvell i mean i've been to a bunch of schools around around where i live and coming out here is just it's a little bit different and i didn't know what to expect and this has been it's blown everything out of the water like just and my thoughts of what I thought it was going to be like. I just did. I didn't know. I didn't know if Florida State was on the beach or what. Like I didn't know anything about it. Just being from Texas, and like even from their strength staff. Their strength staff is unbelievable. Meeting them and talking to all of them, and then just their coaching staff and the players that they have. Their practice. I've been to a lot of practices. Uh, I've never seen a head coach so enthusiastic and involved in everything that they do. And so it was. It was pretty special. So how long have you been talking to Florida State and what were those conversations like and what do you think they'll be like after your visit? I mean, I've been talking to Florida, I, I got offered last summer and I've been talking frequently, like I've been talking with Coach Shannon for about a, since then. I just, he's came down to my school to visit me and I've just, it's just kind of far so I never really had a chance to go yeah. up there and, or up here. And so I've been, I've been in contact with Coach Shannon for for this long and then we've been talking about coming up and I was like this this is kind of a perfect opportunity with being in Florida and so uh, we decided to make the trip and it was worth worth the trip. Now it sounds like maybe this has had an impact on your recruiting mm -hmm. uh, kind of what has it done to the recruiting process for you and uh, how does it sh shape how you feel about uh, where you are? It, it, I mean it's like every school I go to it like changes everything like I <laughs> I swear my top schools change like every day. So, but yeah, I mean, it's, this has left a really big impact. I really want to come back here. I've, this is, it was a really special place and I wouldn't be saying that just, I mean, if I liked it, I would, I, some places I like and some places I'm, I don't like. And this is, this is really one of the places that I, I really like just me being me and even the campus. It was, it was really, it's just a lot different than what I'm, what I'm used to. and. I kind of like it and just from the school wise and then with this coaching staff and how unique it is and the, just the program that they're building here is super special so that's kind of what stuck out and that's kind of gonna it's changed a lot in the recruiting did y'all talk official visit at all yeah we i mean we've talked about me coming back up i which i will be i'll be coming back up um just we're trying to get all the official visit stuff scheduled okay. and uh, i've only got one official visit scheduled which is ohio state but everything else I still got to figure out. And so just kind of figuring out the, cause I'm going to have these kind of spring recruiting trips on officials uh, to kind of pick my last five schools or whatever it may be, and then use those for my officials this summer. And I want to commit before my uh, senior year. And what is next on the unofficial visit list? Um, Oh goodness. Well, we were supposed to go to uh, Michigan, but I canceled that. We canceled the trip. We just didn't want to take that I knew I wasn't probably not going to go there so we uh God, who would that be next it would be Ohio State next okay. in a couple of weeks yep gotcha what did you see from uh, coach Shannon during the practice yesterday and also the linebackers as well I mean well right when we first got here I did a position meetings with coach Shannon and uh, he asked me to pick out a, a NFL team just any NFL team and I was like uh Dallas Cowboys and they told me to pick another team that they played this year so I picked the Buccaneers and we went to their playoff game he literally put up the film and went through like he could show me exactly what they were going to do before every play and it was like it was mind-blowing I was like and it was just really simple stuff looking at the running back I mean you could see like Patrick Mahomes if he was going to throw it or not we went to a different game with the Chiefs if he was going to throw it or not just based off his stance and it was just crazy like how how simple it seems and how easy easy you made it look and it was it was pretty crazy and then I got to sit in linebacker meetings and how the players interact with coach Shannon and then go out to practice which was unbelievable I mean it was a high energy practice and there hasn't been a lot of practices like that that I've seen you so mentioned you know this visit uh blew things out of the water for you I guess where does Florida State now stack up in your recruitment uh I mean they're they're right at the top of the other schools I don't really have one school that's kind of particular um 
front of another. It's just, it's, it blew things out of the water in what I expected. And so I think they, uh, they're they right up there with the rest of the groups that I have a check for. And so I've kind of got my schools that I really want to start looking at, the ones I, I don't. And there's no one really above each other, but those are, they're starting to really creep up there and they're kind of one of the top schools that I like. The Ohio State visit, is that stuff for like June? Yeah, it'll be a June, June okay. official visit. Is that when you want to take most of your officials? Yes, June. Gotcha. And then what, what's your decision timeline looking like? Um, yeah, I'm going to finish these spring unofficials and then do, take all my officials uh, this summer and then make a decision for my senior year. I don't really want to go into my senior year without a school. <clears throat> Clearly a lot of stuff came to surprise you on this visit, but is there anything that you about this visit because you've been on so many places that's kind of different than maybe the other schools that you've already checked out? Yeah, a lot of stuff was unique about this visit. I mean, when I show up and Jameis Winston's here, that's, that's pretty, <laughs> that was pretty cool. Um, there's a lot of things. I mean, I've been to a lot of campuses. I haven't been to many campuses that have palm trees. Like, it's just, <laughs> it's just weird looking at stuff and how, how much different Florida State is than, you know, just the schools kind of from around where I am. And, their coaching staff. I mean, almost everyone's been at the NFL level in some way, and Coach Coach Norvell really had, with our my meeting with him has opened a lot of opened my eyes a lot into what kind of program they are and watching their practice. I mean, I really I didn't I've been on so many recruiting visits. I don't like I just I don't even want to do any other recruiting stuff anymore. I just want to watch practice and see what it really is like. I've I've been to so many you know, junior days and recruiting stuff. I, I just want to see what it's what's real and what's not. And so being here, watching practice, sitting through meetings, seeing what it's actually like as a player has been real eye-opening, and uh, I like it a lot. You mentioned Jameis Winston. Seeing some of these former players that are back here at Florida State this weekend, getting a chance to watch the All-American brick ceremony for Jermaine Johnson earlier today. What was that like? It was awesome. It was really cool because uh, I'm not, I mean, I'm not too familiar with Florida State. Like, obviously, I am on it on a wide level, but like seeing how much these people at the university give back to after they've after they've graduated, like Jameis and how much and Jermaine and all these other former players, how much they care about the program after they leave. It shows what kind of university this is and what kind of program it is.